<sighs> Seems like a day doesn't go by where you see division between politics, people, religion, everything. And I'm sure you guys must have those times when you think, when's it all going to end? You know. I mean, more specifically, it's going to be, I'm going to talk about the whole MGTOW versus feminism thing because. And I apologize for the background noise this rush hour, but when's it gonna end? Like, when's it gonna end? I mean, I'm I'm so 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 sick and tired of both sides. I'm so sick and tired of women who have just been just just take no responsibility, who treat men like they're just useful tools, and I'm so tired of men just not taking responsibility and blaming women for all their problems and you know it just gets to a point whereby you're just exhausted you know i mean i used to i used to binge watch all these videos about migtal you know sandman and all these other people and i've already mentioned this in a previous video but it's a dead end like it's a dead end you know like what's it gonna take for us to just come back together and just really work out a new way of living with each other that doesn't involve lawsuits, that doesn't involve alimony all the time, that doesn't involve just hatred and lack of taking responsibility for one's own actions from both sides. And I realize that I have at least I think answers for this. One of those answers is that, well my speculation is there is, and I put my own like tinfoil hat here, there's a consistent top-down effort to destabilize people and it's not just that but that's the first thing I'm going to talk about there's a, this consistent top-down effort to constantly bring up gender issues constantly bring up gender inequality and I hear it all the time from from the BBC every single time I turn on the BBC the British broadcasting thing all I ever hear is what is it like to be a woman in this situation what's it like to be a woman in that situation what's it and it's like it, it can't you can't go by without there always being something to do with women or something to do with race or something to do with sex and it does just get to the point where it's just exhausting so i can't fully blame men and women for all of this really i can't i know that it's it's an establishment thing i think it's a consistent divide and conquer thing get people arguing about all this other stuff get people up oh my god what do you want what do you want what do you want piss off <laughs> it's just, just go away you always all my videos you want to get in all my videos all my videos i swear to god ah that was nice um so I honestly think that there's a consistent top-down effort to basically undermine uh, people by dividing them along gender lines. This is why I encourage people, please stop getting involved in all these movements. Please stop thinking that this is the future and this, that and the other. Please stop thinking that this is 100% natural. It's about 50% natural. What is the most important thing that I encourage people to do is to work on yourselves. Work on yourselves. You know, nothing in my opinion is, is, I just... <sighs> I just feel really bad whenever I see these guys who check out the system when they really could just be working on themselves and end up just spending a good another in the rest of their lives sitting inside, not not interacting and playing video games, and just blaming women for all their problems all the time. And I'm so sick and tired of seeing all these women who think that oh, you know, they can sleep with whoever they want, and then come 30, 35, they become bitter and angry and jealous, and they join all these ridiculous movements to the point where they're just and they still feel unfulfilled, and. It's just, it just gets to the point where it's just exhausting. This is why, like, I want to start talking about these issues, but it's so hard because I don't want to get into this left-right paradigm. This, either you're a feminist, you're a MGTOW, you're, you're this, or you're that. This cult mentality that's really just developed is driving me insane. Now, the other reason I think um, it is not artificial is that it is actually natural. So, a lot of these things are natural, whereby, just based on the fact that, well, I heard a very interesting quote, it was a lady called Till Swan, she was talking about just the whole crisis of uh, masculinity. She was basically saying that um, uh, because women have been cloistered, I think, a lot, and now that men are, are a little less of a of a important role, men have almost, uh, women have almost psychologically or deliberately raised sons to be emasculated because the father is never there. 
So as this sort of like, as this sort of like, I don't know if it's like passed down from generations or just the psyche lashing out, they've raised men to be deliberately more masculine. Now this isn't a conscious thing, but this is why we see a lot of emasculated men. And also because work has, um, because the Western world has basically separated fathers from their sons for various reasons. And also because they've chosen to do that because they've been brainwashed. But they've been raised emasculated so this is the reason why we see all these movements because i still stand by my i still stand by my thing is that i can't i can't honestly agree with all the stuff that i see on the migtail side i really can't agree with it and obviously side both you know things have different sides because whenever i was talking about like on my video you know being single and stuff like that I was getting comments about, oh, you know, can't wait, can't wait till she dumps you, your new alt is waiting, which I don't know what the hell is and I don't care. Like, and it's like, I just feel, I feel pity for them. It's like, there are plenty of people, plenty of strong men out there in relationships who don't go for women are evil and are just going to take you over. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have to become a stronger person, not for women. And I say this again, you don't become stronger for women. This is what people seem to misconstrue. They think that, oh, you should become a better man for the, for the sake of women. That is not the case. You become a better man from being a man. And if you build it, then they will come. If you build it, they will come. But if you sit there thinking, I'm going to improve myself because I want to get better with women, then yes, it's pathetic. It's, it's, it's pathetic. That's not, it's a great way of starting off. It's a great motivation. But along the way, you'll quickly realize that you can't just keep focusing on that because the whole world opens up to you. And then it's just like me, like I stopped thinking about women a long, 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 long time ago. I just said, I just announced that I didn't want to be single because I wanted to actually, I wanted to like lower the gate whereby I had this gate up whereby like I never want a relationship, like I never want a relationship. But that, that announcement that I made in, in that video is basically me saying I'm now open to the prospect. I don't want to be single anymore, but at the same time, I'm not going to chase it because I have so much stuff that I want to do. And there's, a, and there's a lot of stuff that I can achieve and there's a lot of other stuff like I'm fasting and getting my channel and just organizing my life that are far more important, you know. But I just want this division to end. You know, I just, well, it's just, it's meaningless. And people are being manipulated and people aren't seeing that they're being manipulated into these left-right paradigms. The women aren't seeing it, the men aren't seeing it. And we're just buying the stuff, hook, line, and sinker, and it's feeding. And the thing is, it's deliberately engineered to feed into your sense of insecurity. It's deliberately done to feed into your sense of insecurity because, you know, a whole generation of kids who've just been raised without proper parents, and then so they take out their anger and their frustration on the first, on either men or women, you know. So, you know, you haven't been raised with a father, therefore you don't know how to talk to women, therefore you get absolutely owned when you go into the dating scene, therefore you'll lash out and you have a whole community to lash out with you. You know, or you're a woman and you've not been, you know, and you've not been raised to treat men properly and, and to respect men. And you live in a society that constantly tells you that you are the best, like I said, top down. This is a top down movement. So what happens is, is you treat men like crap and you don't find a good man and you don't settle down. And then you end up bitter and resentful and hateful and all this other stuff. And, you, and the system allows you to do that. You know, just like the system allows men to check out very easily. We don't live in this society whereby we have to be living together any, anymore. We, you can just get a job. You can start up a YouTube channel. You can start up a tech company or just do something to earn money and never see a woman again. It's like the whole society enables us to, to divide ourselves so much. And it's like, it's ridiculous. And people need to wake up because like, this is an honest question for I have for MGTOWs, especially ones who think that, like, the, like who think that all men should be MGTOWs. Where does the future go? Like, what future is that then? If all men just check out, what happens? What happens? Because at some point, I think men are going to have to realize that instead of just going full MGTOW all the time. Like I said, I'm not anti MGTOW. I'm not anti anything. Everything works if you use it in the right circumstances. Apart from a few things, but you know what I mean. MGTOW helped me, I do not, you know, I do not bash MGTOW at all, but where do you see this going in terms of a future? Because what I see happening is that eventually enough men are going to check out, that enough women will pay attention, and with a combination of men who have, who want to actually repair the situation and not just check out, and also enough women who are miserable will be able to fix the situation. But I don't think fixing it is to encourage all men to go MGTOW. 
Same thing with feminism. I don't think get, getting equality is demanding that all men, that, that, that you just be equal and with all men in all aspects, because it's impossible. We're not equal. Men are not equal to women, and women are not, are not equal to men. They never have been. Neither has anyone been on the top. We're like, we're like screwdrivers and hammers. We both have a function, but we'll never be equal, you know? But still, that's all I've got to say for today, and uh, Freeman out. Peace.